everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Boy, am I excited to show you today's card. I am working on some projects using the Lucky Clover stamp set. And I saw a really cool card by Jenny Polly over on Instagram um, that she had done with a baby wipe. And I had to try it. I didn't have any baby wipes here. We don't have babies anymore. So I ran to CVS and bought some baby wipes. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Um, mine's a little different than hers. I changed things up a little bit. Um, but it's really easy and it's kind of um fun and it's a little messy you'll see my <laughs> fingers are a little bit stained but i think the end result is well worth it um okay so what you're gonna need like i said you're gonna need the baby wipes um i am using a full piece of shimmer white cardstock and i've taped it down because when you move that baby wipe you want the paper to stay there. I found that my paper was moving around, um, so that'll kind of help you keep it in place. Um, you're gonna need, let's see, reinkers. All right, your reinkers or your ink refills. This is what you use to reink your ink pads. All right, so grab your baby wipes, and I made kind of a thick little roll of them. Um, I don't know, maybe three or four and just kind of wadded them up like that. And we're gonna use it to scrape that color down like that. Let's fold it in just a little bit. Okay, well, let's do it the right way. Come on, stack them up. And I think I'm gonna fold in a little bit and then I just don't, I don't want it to be longer, really a whole lot longer than my colors, okay? All right, so there, now we're gonna do it like that. So you want a little smooth surface like that. Okay, so here are the colors I'm using. First is polished pink. I'm gonna put some there. And then I've got, um, nope, let's do mango melody. Put that there. Um, Daffodil delight. And let's see, red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> Parakeet party. And then we've got um, Tahitian Tide. Most of these are in colors. And last but not least, Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia and Polished Pink are getting ready to retire. All right, now grab your paper and we're gonna lay this down right here and we're just gonna kind of scrape it down. And I kind of did it several times like that. All right, and you can do several times, however many you want, go as far as you want. I kind of liked going further than I needed to, just to kind of give me some play, some room to play. I like the way this one is more scrapey, and this one's a little more solid. I don't know, they'll both work, but you've got this, and I have found that it works for a while. I mean, we put we put some big dots on there, so it should work for a while, but set it out of the way, so that you don't get it where you don't want it. Now, get a little bowl of water and a water painter, and we're just gonna, we want our rainbow to look kind of water colored. So I'm just gonna take water and just flick it around. We want little and big drops. And do it like that. All right, let it sit for just a minute. Really don't need it to be very long. And then set some paper towels like that, and you've got texture. I really like the texture over here. Let's see if we can add some more texture to this one. The bigger your dots, the more texture you're gonna have. See how that's kind of all popping up? And then you can dab it. Ooh, now I really like that one. Got it. We got, kind of, we got rid of that like solid, kind of too much look. Okay, so once you are satisfied with that, let's wipe everything off. I'm gonna take my um, Wink of Stella, and I've just got my silicone sheet here, and I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit like that, and I'm gonna flick this all over just to make it sparkly. Now the Shimmer White cardstock has sparkle in it, so it is going to, let me make sure I'm in the screen here, it's gonna be sparkly already, but this is really gonna add some I don't know, some more sparkle. I love doing this with my Wink of Stella. Okay, 
Now, give it some time to dry. Really, you only need about five minutes. It's not terribly wet. Um, while it's drying, let me show you the other things that you're gonna need. Um, basically, you're just gonna need a base, a thick basic white card base and some clouds. And I used the um, cloud border die to cut these. And I cut several so that I would have some choices. I layered up on my cards. I liked the, the layer of three. Um, and you want some to be, you might have to trim them as you go and turn them so that they're not all the same. And as you layer them, you know, you can figure out how you want them. I made them longer than, than they need to be so I can trim them down. Okay, now I'm gonna stamp this sentiment, sending luck and love in Tahitian Tide. I'm gonna do it right over here, all right? And now we're gonna trim down our pieces. So carefully pull off your painter's tape. This is just blue painter's tape you get when you are you know, painting your, your room from the hardware store. And we're gonna trim this down to four by five and a fourth. And I've got two here. I think I'll just do this one over here. And I'm gonna trim that. I'm gonna start a little bit wider than I think I might need to be. Nope, I did, I picked it perfect. All right. And I couldn't decide if I wanted this down at the bottom of my page. I don't know. I ended up keeping it solid. So I think what I'll do is we'll trim off right there and then we'll make it five and a fourth. Like that. All right, so now we're gonna start layering our clouds on here. And I'm gonna kind of play around with it and see how far down they need to be. I don't want them to cover up too much of my rainbow. So I think I'm gonna start right there. And I'm gonna layer these with dimensionals. Put that one right there. And then we'll get another one. Do this one right about there. And then we'll do one more up here. And let's see. Don't want to put it too high. We're going to trim it down. Let's see. Is it straight? No, it's not straight. There we go. All right, so now take your trimmer. Did I put my back? Of course I did. I put it back down where it went. And we're gonna trim off, you can use your scissors too if you feel comfortable with that. Trim off that excess cloudage. <laughs> I just made up a word. Excess cloudage, All right? And that's what it looks like. If you need to do a little trim up here, you can do that as well. Let's see if ours is straight. We might need to do that. It was a little bit heavy up on the left side. Okay, so there you have your main piece. And let's get our card base. And this, I'm just going to use stamp and seal all the way around. Put that down right. There, and then I've got Tahitian Tide Ribbon. And we're gonna tie that right up here at the top. This is such a beautiful color. I went, well, you can use any of the colors that you used, obviously in your rainbow, but I thought this is the closest color to what the sky would be, so we'll use the blue. All right, do I have scissors? Snip, snip, and then last but not least, we're gonna add in some 
opal rounds, kind of like the raindrops. Now on one of my cards, I used our little heart pearls and the other one I used opal rounds. So you could use lots of different um, little dots. We've got lots to choose from. So see what you have in your stash. And just start putting some raindrops on there. And I think this is such a fun card. Now the the um, stamp set really, the theme is St. Patrick's Day, but sending luck and love, I think could be any time you want. Um, there's also, I thought the sentiment, um, happy St. Patrick's Day. If you send St. Patrick's Day cards, that would be a good choice across the top as well. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. I've got all the details for you there, supplies and uh, measurements. And then in the next few days, I'll have more. I have five Lucky Clover projects planned for the next few days. So if you're looking for ideas, make sure you come back. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.